getting spring. It's getting spring here and the people are outside on the Sunday in crowds. So today it's gospel. It's Sunday, so it's gospel time. I wanted to start tomorrow with gospel, but my piano is going to be in repair for, I think, three days or so. So I'm just starting today with the first gospel and uh, enjoy it. Have a nice Sunday. See you soon. Bye. Okay, we are now in the terrain of gospel. Many people were asking me, and I'm such a kind person. So, <clears throat> gospel, does what does it mean? It means very little uh, when it comes to the groove. Because we have gospel from the 1900, we have gospel from 1980, and we have gospel from 2017, which is, uh, they are very successful pop gospel singers um, with huge mass choir singing. And it's very funky and uh, it's uh, highly, highly uh, glossy. But also in the in the uh, uh, early bits, we don't have necessarily bluesy bass line, but um, rather solely or rather poppy bass line. And I will jo just show you um, a little piece which we're going to do today of a typical gospel structure also with a pop bass. Oh, God damn it. Lord. Don't leave me alone. I hope so much I can count on you. Okay, please, now. And second example, now it's the community saying, and then we have the choir um, answering holy glory and you know is with you and uh, and uh, what did you do for your blessings it comes from the heavens and then the uh, the people are asking again you know i have pain i have this and please help me and then the choir uh, the choir is repeating again so second verse like saying like uh, Oh Lord, don't you buy me a Mercedes band? So that's a different song. Okay, uh, I don't sing at all. And now, you like it? I don't care. This is the lesson. I'm the master. I'm only a half god, a demi god. That is what it's called. Uh, but I'm working on it so and also as you have, might have seen i'm also um, not the world's most famous gospel singer i think i'm shared second rank so um the bass one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one easy huh easy like sunday morning one and two and three Four and one and two and three. Good. Then we have the the second bit where the choir is and would be answering, I imagine. Uh, and that I'll tell you just quickly the chords. It's C, A seven, it's D seven, it's G seven. No, I just missed the root here. Sometimes it sounds nicer. And then C again. Again, it's C. A7. D7. D7. And I'll show you the special Christian Fuchs bass trick to tie chords easier. That demands, if you want to go, for example, from C to A, that you anticipate um, the, uh, well, I'll show it to you, one and two and three. So usually the, the H only comes on three, but we can tie the chords better. One and two and. So basically the last eighth note, the end, is already from the next chord, from A. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. 
advantage is that we, for example, if we would say like one and two and uh, went from G to D, we might have to do big jumps with the fifth finger. That's what it's for. It's easier to tie once you have it inside uh, in your system. Uh, it's really nice. So it's we, you practice with me now the groove. C, A7, D7, G7. G7, D7, G7. Again. C, D7, G7. Repeat that until you got it. Come back and go on with me and our third man up there who is always guiding us when we do gospel. So you, we are much safer in gospel territory than in blues. In blues everybody has no money, no girl, no car, wakes up in the morning, all this thing. When we do gospel we have one big friend. And that might help some to do this. I'm sure it will help many. Let's see what he can do for us. Guide your fingers maybe. And um, so we have... Uh, uh, now, now we have the groove and the chords. What can we do to practice this at the beginning? Of course we don't start with... <laughs> We start with something easy, as you know, it's called didactics. We start easy and then we go to the unknown, like uh, Star Trek. Um, and uh, I would suggest you start with this one. You just was, uh, you keep doing this. One, uh, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and got it one uh, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and not only in god we trust but we trust also in that it somehow will match through all the chords in the left hand and we don't care we just don't care because we want to add something very easy in the right hand now. And so we can focus on the left hand, on the chord changes. One more. And, and. That's the first tip, first thing to any groove. You start with very little and you keep being in control um, and you can focus on that what, what you want to learn and this is the left hand you gotta get a fit with. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Okay, you can even uh, take maybe um, just maybe this. Just have something in the right hand that your brain already splits a little bit in the middle, which it does when you play with two left hands. So, do you know what? Um, who's part of the half of the brain is now responsible? Right, it's the left hand. The left part of the brain is for your right hand. So it's the right hand now organizing my left hand. So, and you can also do like. And a beginning. The form you must keep a little bit. And uh, when you do this, you know this. You can do this very soon. I promise. I do a bit better explanation and do it a bit easier, and then. In the end, frustrate you. 
So, um, and then we can do um, maybe something like. And one and two and three are careful, there's a little upbeat. And one and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. And do you know the painter Bob Ross? I watched him recently to fall asleep. It's the guy who does painting lessons, uh, did in the, I think in the 80s, maybe even late 70s, 80s, where there's this very soft voice and he's thinking like, oh, let's have all the colors here and now we do a happy little cloud here and here is a, there lives a mountain. Let's paint the mountain. And I, I thought about doing a, a piano lesson in his style and I'm still not quite off it. Like, okay, let's do a happy little lick right in the middle of the piano. Where everybody can see it. It's just the truth, isn't it? Let's do a happy little thirds lick. And one and two and three and four and one and two. Let's just play this titanium white and the uh, the core black. And one and two and three and four and one and two and three and and then we brush with the left hand through the chords. Just gently, just tap, tap, tap. End of first uh, um, first chorus. Okay, so once you're in control of these little things, or you uh, one of the more advanced painters, then you can do your blues licks, and that's the nice thing about gospel. You can do a lot of your blues stuff here. Even sometimes the minor blues scale fits, but in general, it's it's the major blues blues scale because what is gospel it's hopeful music it's happy music you know it's the it's the uh, release from the prison of blues you wake up still in the morning but you see the sunshine and you don't see your empty wallet and the and the girl gone with all your money and uh, everything else with the flat tv screen and stuff no you wake up and you see the glorious day in front of you with all its possibilities and uh, with your friends and uh, even though you don't have money you know you don't need money because you have someone who's taking care of you well, i could be a preacher i, I could be a preacher you can do another channel and christian's um, preaching channel oh yeah i can see that so the blue major blue scale is already because you followed me since the early beginnings and um, so you could say that's a nice singing line yeah and now we should have something special that has a bit more juice to it for the choir. As you know, the choir is more than one. That's why it's called choir. <clears throat> it's even more than three. Do you know from how many people it's called a choir? I don't know. I really don't know. Is three people a choir or nine? Nine, yes, definitely. Three? Mm. Ah. A four is a quartet. It's not a choir. These are questions that are moving the world. Okay, so let's see on... Um, we should have at least an octave in it to give it more firepower. So it's the single individual here. What can I do now? So, and then comes... Yes. 
That's good. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Do it again with me. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. That will be the choir's answer. Sounds uplifting. So. We do something else. And choir. Third verse, okay. And choir. I think I just wrote a masterpiece. It's catchy, no? At least it's catchy. I could work on it and then... Oh, no, I don't. So, um, then let's see what we have in the beginning. This It's terrifyingly sophisticated and it really sounds divine. And divine is just what we want here. So it would be... You still have this one. we do oh, aren't you melting away so it's the th same thing and we watch this one it's one and five on the G flat and the E flat and you just slip down with a slide on a snowy slope into the titanium white now I don't have fingers left I can see oh I was afraid for a second ah there they are okay um, here this one we want this one now and that goes to C one five one five and unfold maybe you do that before and one four so the whole shebang would go like this it's an upbeat. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and bam and bam bam bam. You fly there quickly, slip down in your slide sledge, and then you go this again. One and two and bam 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 bam. Together it will sound like this. So you have verses now and you have the choir singing, blasting it out um, with the octaves. You can do it here. We singing. And And in between, you could just keep the tension up. You know, they're already, already, you know, getting uh, 
totally uh, enthused uh, your community. Maybe you are a, um, a, um, a service, uh, what is it called, sermon. You know, these organ, organ players who play in a uh, gospel church. And uh, that must be just a great job. I would love such a job, to, you know, when they start dancing. And in between... <laughs> Tension um, rising it can start very slow. And while this preacher starts speaking, I can't do this. It's like a nine tuple um, tasking. I can only do up to eight. I show you what it is: one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. It's a counting thing. One and two and dee 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 dee. It's better if you get it singing. Bam ba dum ba ba da ba ba. Maybe let's find a sentence again to make it easier. Lord, don't you buy me mercy dispense. <laughs> you see, my creativity is, can be very limited. Uh, Lord, will you shine on my sister? Yes, that will um, keep you until you know, maybe you don't know Christian Fuchs tricks. It's not mine, it's, it's a famous uh, drummer's trick. A sentence um, that keeps it uh, in your mind easier. Lord, won't you shy, shine on my sister? Maybe this one. Lord, won't you shine on my sister? Do -do 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 -do. Lord, won't you shine on my sister? Lord, won't you mind the Now it's the frustration part, okay, to get you down on earth again. This was just a regular blues ending. You want to hear it? C? C with A and E in the bus. F? F sharp diminished. D7, 9. D flat, 7, 9. C7. That's a lightning striking from above because I did something. I must have sworn today. Swear, swear it? Sworn. I must have sworn. I, I usually do, so it's quite um, legitimate. Do you like it? Did you like it? Uh, I really I love this stuff. I love anything that grooves. And uh, thanks for coming in. There's more gospel, more gospel coming. And uh, tomorrow is Sunday, so that's even a good time. Um, be good um, and uh, do something good tomorrow on a Sunday and uh, practice piano. See you soon. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you liked my video and that you learned something. Now you can subscribe. Just press this subscribe button or click on another of my videos on this side. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.